Okay, this is my uh, pneumatic snake, and this is pretty much how I built them. Okay, so I got this uh, snake from HalloweenFXProps.com, and it's just a foam-filled snake. I'm not sure how long he is, but he's foam-filled, and he's pretty, pretty flexible. And uh, so, anyways, the crate I actually found this crate uh, in the back of the store, like near the garbage. So I just picked it up. I figured it was something good for the snake. So then I took off some other parts from him, from other, you know, the pieces of wood. So basically it's scrap. And uh, I'll, I'm going to have to paint the top of this. I'm not sure what color yet, but we'll see. Probably dark brown. Okay, so uh, these cylinders this is two inches so that moved pretty good and uh, yeah and that's PVC pipe holding onto these fake plants and we just zip tied that and then we hot glued it at the top and uh, yeah so I just crisscrossed uh, the line the two air line for for the two uh, cylinders to open up at the, uh, you know, at the same time. Okay, both of those are Dimba cylinders. And, let's see, I use, the brackets I use to hold the, the plants up, and it's actually pretty light. The fake plants are light, the PVC is pretty light, and, uh, where is that there? And I actually use these brackets. And it's actually light enough that I only needed one for each each PVC pipe, each branch here. And I uh, use a one-fourth lock nut to just go in through there. And it seems to hold it pretty good. And it's light enough, so the cylinders move it just fine and quick enough, too. And let's see. So I also got the spitter idea from Diablo. On YouTube, he's Diablo Diablo 85. And thanks for that, Diablo. Appreciate it. So what I did is uh, for the spitter, the cylinder. Uh, sorry, the uh, so the cylinder he comes out 21 inches, okay. And I'm not sure if you can see it, but. Uh, I used some latex to hold the spitter part there. So what I did is that I pierced the hole through there and I put the tube inside here and I pierced another hole down here and then I had the line come out over here and uh, what I did was uh, I got a smaller line. This is 142. What I did is that I got a smaller line and I just took a nail uh, toward the front by the head and I put it inside there I put the smaller piece inside the larger one and then uh, uh, so I used a, a, one of those uh, heat shrinks I put in a couple of those just to hold it just to hold it in place it seems to do the job pretty good so put like two of them on there in the front uh, so yeah so it, I think all you need to do maybe is just uh, get a smaller tube to go in, inside the larger tube so there's different I guess there's different sizes you could use I have other spitters that I've used with larger tubing and then uh, some of them just uh, fit inside there you know there's probably other ways to do it but that's how I did it and I got the idea again from Diablo so what I did is that I attached that, I used a Y connector on that and so whenever the cylinder pushes this thing out, pushes the snake out, it also activates the water and the spitter and that way uh, you can get him to do that just uh, instead of having a separate spitter for him, he goes, he starts to spit when, when he shoots out. So and inside there is sure if you can see it, but that's 
that's why I have the cylinder. Okay. So I'm not very good with tutorials, but that's how I did the snake. And uh, it works pretty good. You know, if you guys have other ideas on how to make this better, you know, good. <laughs> All right.